Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The channel of Make It Make Sense. That's me. Jeb Chanel. Child. We got a hot mess here tonight. We got a hot mess here tonight. We got Kim Kardashian being made fun of because she spent sixty million. Let's say it again for the people in the back. Sixty million on one of her children's birthday party now i don't know what the cost of living and entertainment uh for birthday parties up there in california is and what it's about but it seems to be uh pretty much oh it's, it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot of money i mean how many kids was she basically trying to um trying to invite what what's the number count what's the head count how many parents are going to be there was kanye there did kanye approve this 60 million is it coming from your account or is it coming from kanye's account or are y'all splitting it 50 50 okay but still 30 grand to me is a little bit over excessive Woo! child you couldn't have stayed in the hundreds but you know like i said i don't know what california parties look like and how much it takes uh from the decorations from the entertainment uh the food cost the presents uh that you don't like the keepsakes you want to um give to your party goers after the party has uh ended and you want them to remember the time or the good time they had you know we're talking about uh games for them to play oh it's just too much and let's not forget the music because half the time children's parties are somewhat adult parties as well but yes the press is driving kim in the ground putting a stake up in her heart saying this was over the top kim kardashian ripped wasteful minions party at 60 million mansion with pinatas rollerbladers and hundreds of balloons this article was written by the sun uh by a person called ekin carison 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 something like that okay moving on they go on to say the reality star 41 put on a brash featuring hundreds of balloons a pinata a football a foosball table um, dancing rollerbladers to do, uh, celebrate the release of the minions. The rise of Guru. Okay. Kim Kardashian has been slammed for throwing a wasteful minions party for her four kids at her $60 million LA mansion. Okay. So you're trying to say we only had four people came? I mean, you're sure four kids and, and they were partaking of all of this? Hell yeah. Yeah, they got it right. Yep, they got it right to wear your ass out. It ain't their money. They shouldn't really be saying nothing, but guess what? We here. We knocking on the door and we saying wasteful spending, love, wasteful spending. Okay. She used hundreds of different colored balloons. Alrighty. Uh, dancers rollerblading next to a foosball table. There was a huge minion pinata outside. Chloe's daughter, true. Got behind the wheel of a 60s inspired van. That's it right there. The Skims founder decorated her lounge with a huge arch made of yellow, pink, red, and blue balloons with rainbow style tassels hanging down. There was a multi tiered minion themed cake and treats, as well as minion themed slime stations and painting stations for the kids outside. The guests could hang out at the huge stage erected outside under glittering disco lights where dancers in the 70s uh, costumes rollerbladed to disco music. Kim also showed off a huge piñata hanging up 
outside of the dancing minions characters mingling with the guests. Chloe attended with her daughter True for um, and Kim's sister Courtney and Kendall also made an appearance. Critics flooded Reddit with their outrage at the amount of waste created by the party. One wrote, this is beyond over the top. The amount of balloons this family go through for a few photos makes my head spin. Okay, another one added, the amount of waste they produce is insane. Hundreds of gallons for just one event. A third chime then said, I would give my left leg to know Kim's carbon footprint. Excessive Easter. This isn't the first time the Kardashians, Jenner, clan have been called out for their wasteful celebrations. Back in April, family matriarch Chris Jenner face backslashed for putting on an excessive Easter display full of candles. The Kardashians celebrated Easter at Chris's $12 million mansion, Palm Springs home, and fans couldn't believe how many desserts were on the table. Chris showed off individual gumball machines for each of her grandchildren and dozens of cupcakes, cookies, and cakes. Critics complained that many of the sweets would be thrown away and asked how the family would deal with the leftovers. Wasteful parties. Last year, Chloe came under fire for using hundreds of plastic balloons for her parties and added and adding carbon emission by traveling by private jet. Private jet passengers account for 10 times as many greenhouse gas emissions as a commercial traveler and 150 times more than people who use trains. A 2019 study revealed. In April of 2021, Chloe shared photos from True's birthday party in which Kylie Jenner's house was decked out with masses and masses of plastic balloons. The balloons ranging in size, shape, and color filled the entryway and stairs of the Kylie's house, as well as surrounding the tables and the bouncing castle outside. Her environmentally conscious critics called her out for creating such women for creating so much waste from one party the kid enjoy individual painting stations okay kim mansion was covered in balloons all right guests tucked into a minions theme cake and treats mm. and that's pretty much all they had for them they went their asses out That's the media. But then if Kim, her family, the Jenners and the Kardashians didn't put their shit out there like that, nobody would know. But then again, paparazzi loves talking about that family. They got them on deck. So even if they try to keep it off social media, some paparazzi uh, would take the photos and then they would have to guesstimate what they were doing at that particular time when she was throwing this party. Because they didn't know, they had to know it was a kid's party because of the balloons and everywhere and, and all that kind of shit, okay? But we're not, we don't live in a world where we care about what other people think. You see what I'm saying? They're not trying to be conscious, aware of anything. They like what they like, they get what they want, and that's the end of the story. Now, I can see being a mother uh, and having the means to overdo something. If I decided to. So I understand Kim, Kim's point. Of wanting to have the best of the best for her children. However. I would think she would put that in her education for them. Or some type of bank account. Trust fund. Whatever. But then maybe she's already got these. Uh, uh, bases covered. So who are we. To tell her in a sense. Just lamest people on the outside looking in, sitting down on the grass, hoping we can get a few snapshots here and there. Or we can see somebody leaving, trying to find out who, who the guests were, the comings and going, so we can have a story on it. Just talking about the paparazzi. Okay. And myself, when the paparazzi do their job first, because then I have to comment on what they caught in action of said celebrity. Okay, it all works out together. They get free press. We get to entertain y'all as bloggers and the real people that do the journalism and the research for uh, putting out a story. They, they deserve, deserve a hand clap of praise, too. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, because that's how the that's how the circle goes around and around and around. But technically, if you're conscious environment, if you're uh, worried about how waste gets de uh, decomposed and all that, yeah, we do have a landfilling, a landfill that's filling up in each state. I'm sure. Yes, we know all about that. But when you're trying to live a frugal life when you have millions upon billions of money um i guess you just don't look at it from that standpoint you just look at it i got it i want them to have the best of the best the biggest the brightest you know whatever they're gonna have it and that's all we, that's gonna be said and they have to just take the heat for it because you're gonna always have conscious people wanting you to do more for the environment because you have more you should do more and be very conscious of how you pollute the earth so both both sides got uh good points they got good points good endeavors of trying to prove that point but let's face it we might not have done it on that scale of 60 million but we've done it before we've went over and above what was the normal standard thing in your mind of what a child's birthday party should be about and how much money you're going to spend and who you're going to invite. Uh, everything should be kind of frugal, you know, because they're going to, God willing, they'll have another year. They'll probably have another celebration that's coming up during the year that you're going to put money out for. So, uh, I like to say, I have to be with Kim, you know, Kim, that's her money. That's her time. Uh, she do what she want to do and the L for everybody else. Okay. Now she was pretty much conscious, um, advocate for you know destroying the, the world with recyclable stuff or not really recyclable but plastic and paper and all that stuff cutting down the trees then yeah she would be in uh she would be in an era situation where she would have to apologize uh to the masses for not doing her due diligence when she's advocating for a better environment uh, clearing the landfills and this that and the third to have a better future for our children um then yeah she would be um uh, definitely in error she would be wrong for doing that that's only if she's conscious like that now okay but if she's not conscious and she's just living her life being you know with her kids here and there then it's nothing we really should say okay it's her life her rules whatever but i'm just trying to figure out was kanye there was kanye there and was he paying half of that or he's paying the whole 60 million because then we'll have a misunderstanding because kanye probably wouldn't even want it them to have six, 60 million he probably would have told Kim, show me them damn receipts. I know you ain't went up here and paid no 60 million for four kids. And it's only one child birthday. Are you kidding me? I'm like, did she have a house full of kids? Like 50 more? 50 plus or something to that degree? And then their parents? Then I'll say, well, yeah, she would probably would have to have that kind. You know, who she's hosting for. But then you know they got to show up and show out because they're part of the who's who now. You know they have to pick up, uh, put up with their parents' sake. Of having, even if they really don't want to do it. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it, love it, and come back more for my videos, okay? And I'll see you next one. Bye bye.